Hello everybody, it's Scavenger Scout here, and we're going to be playing more Fallout 3. <laughs> Oof, sorry. <coughs> what the fuck? Phil, you startled me. You really mustn't creep up on people You... Like that. You created the ants. Yeah, I didn't expect... You uh, crap my pants, cry. <laughs> um, sorry, I didn't expect to pump anybody alive down here. That is precisely why this is the ideal place for my work. Do you realize you're trampling about in a delicately balanced and highly sensitive experimentation area? Experiments? What do you mean? My experiments are of a complex nature and would take a scientist to explain. Oh, wait! I'm a scientist. How marvelous. Uh, My foray into reducing the girth of these insectoid creatures is of utmost importance. I intend to generationally reduce their immense stature by way of a pre-birth induced mutagen. Isn't that clever? Oh, I see. You're trying to make them smaller over time by injecting the eggs. My word, you understand perfectly. How marvelous. <laughs> so what's gone wrong? Yeah, you're, you are aware your new ants breathe fire, right? Well, this is rather embarrassing, so you'll have to forgive mm. me, but it appears that I've made a slight miscalculation in my <laughs> mutagen did you? samples. Did you? Instead of lowering the size of the <coughs> ants, the brood <coughs> hatched and developed a, a new biomechanism. Sorry about that. I call their genetic aberration pyrosis. The ability to emit flame from their bodies. Uh, right. I may be able to correct this error, but I can't get near my equipment. I'm shocked you didn't attempt this in a controlled environment first. Your knowledge of experimental procedure surprises me. Indeed, I have skipped a step and directly modified Dude. an entire brood. Perhaps I was too hasty. I was so certain it would work. To correct this mistake, I'll need to get to my terminal to modify the mutagen. What can I do to help? Since you've offered, allow me to elaborate. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery chamber near the ant uh, fuck. If I can reach it, I can continue to work on improving the mutagen. If the queen's your concern, why not deal with it directly? If she were harmed in any way, months of data would be lost. Your objective would be to eliminate what I call her quintet of nest guardians. Filthy little abominations. Joe, how will all this undo the mayhem you've caused? I've rigged the equipment at my portable terminal to emit what I call an inhibitor pulse. Once I send this pulse, all of the remaining ants will lose their empathic link with the queen and frenzy destroying each other in the process. So that's all there is to it. What do you say? Hmm. If I stop the ants from burning down Great Itch, that's fine. You will? How marvelous! Be careful, my friend. The Nest Guardians can be quite tenacious. Dumb bastard. Oh. Alright. What else can you tell me about these fire ants? Well, the mutagen has enhanced their fortitude and provided them with what I call pyrosis, the ability to emit flame biologically. Uh huh. They're quite radiation free, however. Well, really? as radiation free as any other mutated okay, okay. creature in the wasteland. Um, entomologists, ants exhibit class symptom behavior, so I'll try and kill the queen fast. Must I again remind you that the queen is to remain completely oh. unharmed? If she's hurt or killed, there's no telling how long it would take me to find a suitable new subject. Just let me issue the inhibitor pulse and it will have a similar effect. How do you go from changing their size to breathing fire? Playing with genetic codes isn't simple. Do you realize <laughs> one tiny tweak at any point in the last Genesis. million years could have completely changed us? Going from attempting to change their size to generating their pyrosis ability is no surprise at all. Mm. Anything special that hurts them? I'm afraid they are not susceptible to anything I can think of that wouldn't harm the garden variety giant ant. 
Uh, just aim for their antennae if you can. It, it will confuse them quite a bit. Okay. All right, let's talk yes. about something else. Uh, yeah, what do you know about Brian Wilkins? Far too curious. His incessant questioning would often come when I was the most absorbed with my calculations. Mm. He had no regard for the importance of my work. Can't you take responsibility for his father's death? All scientists take responsibility for their failures because it comes with the territory. I will take this experimentation to completion without roosting on the moral high ground. If I allow emotions to enter the mix, all this time and energy spent will have been for nothing. You do ruin, like, you realize you ruined his entire life. Yeah, you should have at least told him you were alive. He thought he was alone. I can't risk leaving this place. I have to continue monitoring the hatchery for any further mutations in the next brood. I have no time for children and their petty games. What do they know about the importance of my work? You do realize you ruined his life, right? You have your ideals and I have mine. I'm down here to complete my experiments at any cost. If that means the loss of a few lives to save generations of lives in the future, it's a small price to pay. Alright. Talk about yes. something else. About your experiment. Oh my, yes. They're quite marvelous. There are many that say it can't be done, but I'll prove them wrong. Something isn't quite right. You shouldn't have gotten the results like this so quickly. Well, um, I may have used a few, uh, <clears throat> shortcuts, yes. I was told that the FEV works wonders when used under controlled circumstances. Uh... Apparently, I was wrong, but I know my mistake. I'm certain I can get it to work. What is the goal of your experiments? By introducing my mutagen directly into an ant egg, I hope to reduce the size of okay. the adults. This is a generational system, meaning it will take quite a few broods before the ants are at their destination size. In the end, I hope to make them as small as they were over 200 years ago. Okay, how exactly can I destroy the mutagen? Destroy? Oh, no, no, no! You mustn't do that. It's my life's work. Just clear me a path to my equipment and I'll do the rest when you tell me it's safe. Hmm. Yeah. I gotta go. Ammo. Lead pipe. Medical. Ammo. This boy out here. Huh. <clears throat> so, I mean, he is trying to turn the ants, which is interesting. But he did kill Great Itch. Hmm. Moral dilemmas. Oh, don't I have stealth? Well, I kind of need to kill the fucking guardians or whatever anyway. Ew, there's refuse files. It's ant poopy. It's ant poopy. Two frag mines. Oop, you got a little close. Need that now. Come on, buddy. So 
I go. Oh. There we go. It's like I don't mind just shooting you in the antenna. Oof, that stinger though. Hell, I don't even know if it's a stinger at this point. how close he actually was. Ah. Uh, does the laser rifle work on these things? It's like a bug zapper, right? That's what you think. Laser rifles work pretty well. Bug zapper. <laughs> That's the queen. That's the queen. That's fucking horrific. I just saw her for a second and was like, Jesus. Yeah, That's the queen. That's awesome, they gave us a spot to see her from. Marigold Ant Queen. Right, let's go let him know his little way is clear. I think she's gonna murder him, to be honest. Be fucking hilarious. Right, give me a second. <clears throat> detected some changes within the queen's hatchery with my equipment what's transpired my work is done doc oh how marvelous please tell me what happened i killed the nest guardians then i will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula yeah fun with that thanks very much for everything you've been quite a useful lab assistant the thing's gonna eat him i'm ready for my mutagen Bio enhancer injection, Doc? What? Yeah, what will you do now? Well, I will continue my research. There has to be a way to reduce these creatures to their former size. Don't fuck up again. Until then, I will be staying in my shack next to the Wilkes' home should you ever wish to visit me. This motherfucker. Brian Wilkins, what you about You should him? take him away from this place. Find him a home. Uh, it would be difficult to accomplish my experiments with him scampering about and asking an interminable amount of questions. Um. Alright. Let's talk about something else. What is mutagen? Yeah, what? How marvelous. Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant might? Oh, what the fuck? I like to increase my perception, I guess. Ant sight. How marvelous! Ant sight it is. Hold still, please. Where did he just run to? You've been granted the perception of flame resistance, greatish fire ants. Your perception. All right. So. Unfortunately, this guy's super evil. Because 
He's running experiments dangerously that are killing towns. And then he's like, oh, I'm just gonna do it again. Are you fucking insane? No more Dr. Lesko. Let's go get rid of that giant mama too. You guys have a good morning, good evening, good night. Next episode, we're gonna kill us a giant fire ant. Queen. This has been Scavenger Scout, signing out.